Well, welcome to an episode of Brandon TV. This episode is gonna be great. We're gonna be talking about Bring Back the Bees presented by Honey Nut Cheerios. One cold weekend in Toronto, Honey Nut Cheerios sets up a pop-up shop on Queen Street West. It's gonna be about the grocery store of the future to see what life would be with and without bees. Whoa. Okay, so there's apparently tours going on, so I'm in line for the next tour, and um, yeah, there's apparently hidden cameras, so you have to sign the waiver, so here we go. So here we are going into the grocery store, what to expect, what to expect. Wow, the shelves are bare, empty. It's a future without bees, hardly any products. Bees and other pollinators are responsible for one in three bites of food we eat. Bees pollinate flowers, plants, and crops which allow them to grow. Around 84% of the commercial crops, including fruits, vegetables, and seeds, depend on bee pollination. If all bees disappeared, the prices of fruits and veggies would skyrocket. Now looking at these shelves is Mad Bear. And sadder, sadder, there'd be no Honey Nut Cheerios, nowhere to be found. Take a closer look here at the shelves. I'm going to put up a list, it's going to go very fast, of what bees help produce that we eat. Here it goes. And here's our grocery store of the future with bees in it. So our shelves are full, we have our crops still growing just like today. You have to be careful with the types of pesticides and things we use because that's getting rid of the bees. So again, here's food all on the shelves including the beloved Honey Nut Cheerios. Yummy. The honeybee is the only insect that produces food eaten by man. I found this fact interesting. One bee can make one tenth of a teaspoon of honey in its lifetime. Here are some of the tools that the beekeeper would use uh, with the bees and the hives to collect the uh, honey. Uh, all very gentle, of course.
this little room exhibits the bee purple color that only bees can see. And you can read about it right here. There's everyone's favorite bee, it's Buzz. Trust me, I've got bees. Thanks, Buzz. So that's the end of the exhibit. I thought it was very well done, very informative, very interactive. And of course, they gave us a takeaway home present, a box of Honey Nut Cheerios, one of my favorites. Use hashtag bring back the bees on social media to share your pictures, stories, and share awareness of this problem. Go to bringbackthebees.ca. They have an amazing website there with lots of information to tell you what's happening, what we can do to stop it, and they can also sign up to get free seeds in the mail and plant wild flowers to help the bees. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Bee TV.